so we're going to talk very quickly on how I get the RBDMX1 to control my laser. And the reason I'm doing this is because I've seen a lot of posts on here and saying that the uh, DMX1 does not support lasers. And yes, that is technically true. Because um, if we come into the fixtures library um, and you go to Laser World, my laser is the EL400 RGB. What you'll see is in the categories it comes up as lasers and it'll have a star 1 beside it and star 1 indicates the record box does not support this category. As well as that you'll also see that most of the channels have a star 2 beside it and star 2 indicates record box cannot control these channels. So you could drag your laser up into the fixtures um, however it's not going to work anyway so what I think a lot of people forget is because the RBDMX1 is a simple unit that does um, your lights automatically for you I think people forget that it is actually a DMX controller and yes it might not be a DMX controller in the typical sense that it doesn't have sliders um, but it is still a DMX controller so if we come back to performance mode at the top you'll have a light setting so if you turn that on it'll open up your light settings and you'll have three buttons off to your left here now you'll more than likely have those blank um, because you won't have created anything for them um, however if you do need more than three if you go into your settings and go into lighting there's also another six direct DMX control buttons in there that you can create as well. So the RB DMX one also does not support smoke machines. However, you'll see here I've got a smoke button and when I trigger that. Um, what it'll do is it'll uh, dispense smoke. So if we go into your settings here, my smoke machine is set to channel 123. I have a simple smoke machine it either dispenses smoke or it doesn't there is smoke machines that have like color effects as well I don't have one of those but your smoke machine may be more than one channel mine's just one channel so the minimum value for being on is 255 the maximum value for being off is zero so it's either on or it's off we just simply click apply give it a name and click OK. So with the laser you just simply go into the settings of it, create your channels down the side, give your channels the name. Um, so what I would say is read the manual to find out what your channels are and then just play about with it to find exactly what it is you want your laser to do and uh, build up the channels in here. Now you'll see most of them are set to zero because I don't touch them. Um, but you just play around with the, the settings to find out what it is that you want your laser to do. Then just simply click apply, give it a name. And on this one I, you'll see that I've ticked the sync and turn off with the blackout button. And the reason that I've done that is if you click blackout all your lights go off. So I just wanted the laser to go off as well. You don't have to do that. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's how you can control your laser um, using the RB DMX1. Um, you just simply add a button onto your, onto your main page and you just trigger it by clicking on it. And that's basically it.